We're getting close to closing up the bodies now. Before we do that, I want to install some side bracing on uh, two different ways of doing this. One is to use fabric reinforcement. Uh, what that does mostly is to keep in check any cracks that may occur due to any bumps or mistreatment that might happen in the instrument down the road. And then the other one is a popsicle stick bracing that has that effect, but it also has uh, the added benefit, if you will, if you feel you need it, of uh, stiffening the side. Uh, there's a little bit of controversy about it because you're putting uh, lengthwise of grain across the widthwise movement of the wood, uh, but it's done successfully all the time. I'm going to show both ways uh, on these two different instruments. First off, here comes the fabric. When using fabric reinforcement, it's important to get a piece of material that doesn't stretch or move a whole lot. Uh, this is simply a celestial sort of pattern on a, uh, on a fabric ribbon that I got from the fabric store. Uh, lots of different ones that you can use here. You can even use your own uh, fabric and cut your own strips, but this has already been sewn down the sides and is secure and stable. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one right now. I've, I've masked off on either side of where it belongs just to keep from making a mess. I've already uh, pre-sanded the inside of the side. It's going to be one of the last times I'll have an opportunity to do something like that. Um, I'm going to use hot hide glue here. Uh, you can use tight bond. You can use all sorts of different kinds of materials. Uh, I like the hide. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush this on. And the tape will keep me from making too much of a mess. And then put my pre-cut piece into the glue. I don't want to mess with this too much, but I want to sure it's down in the glue. Make sure that it's straight too. So I'm going to use this piece of wood just to squeegee it down. And that's about it. That's all I need to do. And it'll be on there, uh, the, the hot height glue, one of the benefits is that it shrinks and pulls things together. If I play with this too much, I'm going to mess it up. I just know I am because of history. Uh, if I give it a couple of seconds here until the glue begins to gel, I should be able to pull the tape off on either side and leave a nice clean sort of a, of a finish. I'm laying my braces square off the top lining. In this case, if you recall, I used a bent lining here, so it's easy for me to tell which is front and back. I've got a square block here that fits inside, and that actually gives me a square line when I'm, when I'm uh, putting these together. I've laid this one out. You'll notice a piece of tape on one side. That's just to tell me where to, uh, to stop when I've got this glued in. Um, but I'm going to prepare myself for this by sliding a little glue block underneath and then just clamping to the kerf on each side so that I'm in a relatively good location to be able to move these clamps when I need to. This piece has been pressure fit and cut to fit exactly in between there um, and then I've tapered the ends on my sander. I've got a little bevel on the top here. Uh, the grain is vertical on here and I'm just going to grab my glue, and again, I really like the hide, but you don't have to use it. And I can put this in here now, right up against that green piece of tape, and simply slip, slip my clamps over on each side. So the side braces are in, on to closing up the top. See you for that.